So if you're not familiar with the external execution node, what we can do with this is essentially call a command line string in the node. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in notepad and then execute the node. And this will launch notepad. So obviously we're not going to use notepad inside of art engine, but what we can actually do with this is essentially build our own node using external commands. The cool thing about this is you can change how many inputs you'd like, how many outputs you'd like, and recently we've also added ability to handle mesh data as well too. So this is really going to open the door for those of you who want to do mesh processing inside of Art Engine. With that said, let's go over a handful of examples using the external execution node to do some processes inside of Art Engine. So here we have our high res model, uh, which is about 500,000 polys. I'm going to run this through instant meshes. And this is going to remesh this in a quad form. And then we're going to call Blender to apply exploded UVs to this. So we can just view the UV sheet like this. So here are my UVs. And then I'm gonna place this directly into the baker. So this workflow that I usually do over here allows me to input high poly geometry over here, quad retopple it using instant meshes and then use Blender to unwrap that. So it's a really quick way to orchestrate your own workflow for mesh processes. Using OpenCV in Python, we can create a node that allows the user to plot in four points like this, and then correct the perspective distortion on an image. That way we have a flat texture to actually start to work with. Again, using Python and OpenCV, this tool will take a folder of images like this, and then stitch them back together into a large tile like this. This will allow you to capture single images and cover a larger area and just be able to stitch them up for processing inside of Art Engine. So again, using Python, we're able to access the Marmoset Toolbag Baker if we wanted to. We're just gonna input the high poly and then the low poly, and then we'll just execute the node. So now that we've just called the Marmoset Toolbag Baker, the maps have been re-imported directly inside of Art Engine for further processing. My last external execution, what I'll do is take this full material and send that directly over into Marmoset Toolbag. Here we are inside of Marmoset Toolbag. The material got automatically assigned for me directly from Art Engine. So you can see the power of the external execution node. Let's jump back into the graph and I'll show you how to save an external execution node for later use. Let's quickly go over how to save one of these external execution nodes. So let's just say that we're gonna use the command string notepad again. We're gonna first name the node just to make things a little bit more easier later on. I'm gonna name this notepad. So I'm just gonna click in the title bar here to rename the node itself. Um, what we can do now is to be able to save this out we need to have two nodes to actually save it for later use. So what I mean by this is we need to have something attached to either the input or the output to save it out. So I'm just going to put a dummy map into the input like this. I'm going to select both nodes. I'm going to right click and then create node graph template. I'm going to name this external example. I'm going to save this. This will save the template into the folder where our engine can read this for later use. We're going to jump into our template section and then we're going to find the external node that we just saved out. So external example, drag and drop that in. Now we have our external node commands saved from the last operation up here into this template that we can use. So now what I can do with this checkerboard is drag and drop an image from my library and then we can go ahead and execute that as well too. So this was really just a quick way of showing you guys what we can use the external execution for and also how to save this out. For more information on how to use the node, uh, there's a lot more functions that I haven't shown you. Definitely check out our documentation. I'll also put a link below in the description where I actually go over how to use this in a functional way using some uh, tokens. So tokens like this or stuff like this where we can actually put user input to uh, create more of a robust uh, tool that your artist can use for your team. So. Definitely let us know in the comments below if you want to know more about how I use the external execution nodes to build bridges to Marmoset Toolbag or OpenCV. Um, so I hope you guys learned a little bit about the external execution node. 
Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.